currency that's catching the eyes of investors. It's a virtual currency. If you saw the uh, Financial Times today, you, you see it on the, the, the front page, this here. Uh, it's traded like a stock designed to allow global payments with low processing costs. It's Bitcoin. Investors have been pouring into Bitcoins recently as confidence in the banking sector sinks. You can really see their volatility. Take a look at how much the price has skyrocketed since March. I'm going to show that to you now. According to Mt. Gox, its main trading exchange, one Bitcoin was worth $47 two weeks ago. Then its value moved from $106 to as high as $147 in overnight trading on uh, Wednesday. In a minute, we're going to speak with someone who tracks Bitcoins for a living. But Charles, I, I tell me how this works and how it's not like tulips, uh, you know, were <laughs> centuries ago. <laughs> Yeah, or uh, yes, or, or dot coms were perhaps 13 or right. 14 years ago. Yeah, or well, bitcoins were created by an anonymous developer. We don't know who actually in 2009, so only four years ago, as a real world currency free from governments. So it's a person to person transaction, no central bank in between to back it up. So this is how it, uh, it works. You download a virtual wallet onto your computer or phone. It gives you an address which you can exchange with others to make payments. You can also buy or sell bitcoins for other currencies. Well, the rise of Bitcoin uh, came just as Cyprus ran into trouble. Digital currency may have been an attractive option for Europeans or anyone in the world worried about the possibility that their banks may shut. Um, I think it's, this is actually very interesting, Ali, because it, it's funny how uh, sometimes uh, people invent currencies for themselves. I'm told that in Spain they use successful winning lottery tickets as, in effect, currencies, as chips, if you like, because right. they are exchangeable for cash when you need it. Anyway, a media entrepreneur now says that he is developing Bitcoin cash machines, and he expects the first batch to open in 